This is my ghost strip breeding tank. I thought you guys would like to see this. Um, it's a 20 long and uh, they have plenty of little spots to hide and eat and we got some live uh, java moss in there. Um, seashells and little tiny mini pots for them to like crawl inside of and keep their young safe. Uh, and then we use a foam filter, you know, a sponge filter. It's pretty much just black foam and uh, a little bubbler and a tube and it pulls a tiny amount of water, it does, tiny bits of amount of water through the foam and uh, that's how it keeps their aquarium clean because they can't have a regular hang on the back filter it uh, would suck up the babies so you want something gentle and slow you know moving like this then you got your little heater and then uh, just plenty of little tiny places for them to you know congregate and keep the algae down um, right here's a pile of blood worms that I just fed them so they're all over there munching down but uh, I have probably 40 of them in here or 30 and uh, that pile of blood worms will be gone probably within the evening but uh, you have to feed ghost shrimp pretty regularly because they're constantly eating and you know just they're a lot different than the structure of a fish. If you see there's a little neon tetra in there that's darting around but he's I think there's two neon tetras in there and they're the only ones that kind of excellently got in here and they just been hanging out so I hope you enjoyed uh, my video of my uh, ghost trip breeding tank thank you